All right, guys, so today we are gonna be swapping out these halogen bulbs for these LED ones. I did choose to go with the factory LED. Reason being is when I had these on the JL, unreal difference than any LED light I've ever seen in my entire life. Way better than Pro Comp or anything I've ever seen. So at that point, I was like, you know what? Spend the extra money, get something with that OE quality, no aftermarket Chinese junk that you're gonna have issues with every single winter when stuff's flickering or not turning on. This is gonna give you the quality that you need. It's gonna have a halo that's gonna go around the outside as well as your brights and lows and you know standard headlight stuff. So let's go ahead and get this thing started. Hood is up. Next step we're actually gonna take is to go ahead and get this grill off so we can get to all the headlight assembly behind here. First thing you have to do is go ahead and take off all these plastic top pieces. Easiest way to go about it is just go ahead and take a standard flathead. You'll see on one side, just pry on one side, pull it out. It's gonna pull out the center piece. Go back in there again, pry out the last bit. Kind of what it looks like, the flat piece, you can kind of set, just sit your head in those there twist it or pry it, it'll pop right out. When we're done, we're just gonna pop it back in, pop that centerpiece back in. We're gonna go ahead and get all of these guys out. Then there's gonna be a few clips, one's here and then about five or six along the bottom here. So we're gonna pull the headlight and kind of pop it out as we go. Well, not the headlight, sorry, the grill. And go ahead and get this guy removed. Now that we have that grill off, we're gonna, what we're gonna do next is we are gonna be working with an electrical. We're gonna go ahead and disconnect the negative terminal of the battery here, it's just a 10 millimeter. Undo that one tightening bolt that actually goes to a small clamp around that terminal. Lift it up off to the side and just kind of set it off to the side that way it's not touching anything else and it won't accidentally come into contact again with it while you're working and kind of start everything back up again. So we'll go ahead and get that off, set him off to the side, and then we'll kind of start removing these factory headlights. So factory headlights, it's just gonna be a 10 millimeter. It may help to have an extension on there. There's three of them, one this side, one right there, and one right here. We'll go ahead, get those guys taken off, pop this guy forward and go from there. Small clip on the back side, just has a pressure point. Pull it, guy's gonna come right out. We're gonna take it ahead and go ahead and replace this guy. Now, at this point, if all you want is to get LED headlights and you don't care whatsoever for these rings, go ahead, plug that guy back into it, put him back in, bolt it up and be on your way. Now, if you wanna do the halo rings on here, you kinda of have to do a little bit extra to go for it. So these guys are technically driving lights that come around, the same ones that turn on with your fenders. So in order to get those guys to function correctly, we're gonna run a, it comes with a kit from Mopar with an extra wire that's gonna be run into the engine, or sorry, into the cab, where it's actually gonna be tapped in where that driving light wire is going to be. So let's go ahead and get the other headlight out, get these guys put in and we'll kinda of get started and go from there. All right, guys, so now if you're wanting to get that halo that goes around that driving light, um, one thing you are gonna need to do, since we are doing this auxiliary, we'll need a separate wire to go to actually get to the driving light. This is the one that Mopar um, gives to you. It's two wires on one end, kind of taps, tees off, and then one goes on one end, one goes to the other. 
here is the directions that come with these guys. So they're actually super nice. So on the back of the actual plug, this guy down here, when you're looking at it, driver side, passenger side, you're gonna see there's two rows of three. It's gonna plug right into that middle one on the bottom. Fortunately, there's not like four or six you have to count or anything. It's gonna be in the middle on the bottom of both sides. Use these little arms that come out on the top clip to kind of give you a feel where side is the bottom versus the top. What that means is we're just gonna take this end, for example, and it's gonna go right into that plug. Now, this is gonna run into the actual cab and it's gonna go along the passenger side. So use your common sense here, which means this one is gonna go to the passenger side, which is gonna be your orange one, and your blue one is gonna go to your driver's side because it has to run across the actual grill area here. So we'll go ahead get this removed, get this wired up, and get towards that cab part so I can show you what to do from there. To get this guy's clip to actually go into it, there's two pressure points. You're gonna pressure point here, and you're gonna pressure point here, and this back piece will slide off. You're then gonna kinda of take a screwdriver and kinda of stick it in here. You get that guy out. We're gonna find out where that landed. This little piece right here is actually gonna come out. Set him off to the side. We're then gonna go from behind and take that one that we're taking out and replacing. Poke it forward, see how it's sticking out. He's done. We're gonna take our new one, go from behind and push it all the way through until it pops, locks in place. All right guys, next step, when you get the wiring, I kinda tuck it underneath my air box, goes down, comes down right here. Now this is assuming that your airliner or your, sorry, your fender liner is already out. If you do need to remove it, you have a couple um, 10 millimeter screws that are gonna be up in the top right here. And then you have to pop the three or three rivets on the bottom most part. And I'll show this in the directions when you buy this kit of that actual fender. Those are the only ones that hold this one in here. That holds it in the front and there's one up front in the corner. You're gonna take that inner fender liner out and put it off to the side. Fortunately, mine was already out because of the tire situation that's going on. So. From there, we're gonna take a peek our head under here, run the wires zip tie it up neatly as we need to. Next, we're gonna take a um, either kind of a donor wire or some sort of uh, hanger, open it up, and that's gonna be our guide wire. So what I did is I went ahead and connected our new wire harness, put a couple things of tape around past it. The end of it's actually right here. So t past it, just so we can actually hold it stronger and then a little bit over the tip to make sure the wires don't get kinked and then a little bit further so it actually slides smoothly over it. You don't need to sit there and tape it for 45 minutes making sure it's never gonna come off from like Hulk himself. If you do that, it's gonna get too big around. It's not gonna fit through the actual grommet very easily. Two, when you actually go to take it off, you're gonna sit there for 40 minutes trying to cut this thing off without ruining your harness that you had under here. So we're gonna use this as my guide for right now. Now the guide, underneath here, you have your auxiliary battery and you're gonna have a little harness relay right up past it so battery um plug right past it and you're gonna feel it it's the whole rubber part there's actually grommet going inside it's gonna go into the footwell of the passenger seat we're gonna go ahead poke this guy through it run him through until it's about like this guy into it we're gonna go into the inside and i'll show you what we're gonna do next once we get inside there hey guys what i'm gonna do is try my best to show you exactly what i did here it was a pain in the ass took me about an hour and a half of sitting here and fiddling with it um it does ask that you remove this guy it's kind of a pain because you have to remove all this to get it out i chose to leave this in but up here under your passenger side is your bcm you can kind of see all the plugs up top you see that gray one well the one to the left of it is the one you need so you have to remove these two get out of the way i removed that gray one and then i removed that one up top then you have to splice in those two wires and the directions show you exactly which ones to go to and then plug everything back in zip tie it out of the way what you then want to do is go ahead and zip tie up everything out of the way i kind of left these guys loose so you can see exactly what i did ran it up under this up to the front here zip tie it all the way zip tie it down to the light wire and harness down there harness down here zip tie it all along there so there's no loose wires anywhere once we get that in we're gonna go ahead and get the grill back on and we'll see what they look like all right guys everything's buttoned up back, put back together this is their low beams that are currently on um, the halos are not on right now reason being is you do have to go to the dealer and you have to have them flash the computer so the bcm knows to turn it on 
and you can go through your settings on your head unit or if you can get a flash cow you can turn them on that way as well but you do need to go to the dealership and have them flash the computer so if you have a tuner or anything like that or a flash cow bring it back to stock bring everything back to stock go to the dealership and then put all your settings back on because once they change this you're going to plug your flash cow in and it's going to say it's connected to a different uh, uh pcm or bcm sorry so this is them these guys are an unreal upgrade i run this on mine for a reason i paid extra for these for a reason so if you guys have any questions or anything like that shoot them down in the comments below i'll do my best to get back to you as quickly as i can all right guys see you next video